have to check the dupoi sub level. You have to check, take a round on your generator, check for any leakages, any abnormal things found near the generator. All those checks you have to do first. So first we check the dupoi level. Dipstick. So this indicates the level of lube oil inside the sump. So so you can find the lube oil is there. So lube oil is within the marking. So the lube oil is enough for this uh, generator to start. Okay. Next, uh, just take a visual round around the generators. Just check for any fuel oil leakage, any cooling water leakage, and uh, I can see there is no leakage over here. Okay, so I took a round. Around the generator, there is no abnormality found. So I am going to start the generator. So before uh, starting the generator, you have to open the fuel oil sump, fuel oil pump area. And check whether the fuel oil uh, fuel oil racks fuel racks are in good condition. Good condition in the sense it should not be in a stuck position. It should be in a free position. It should the lube uh, fuel oil rack should move freely. So I will remove the cover. So this is your uh, fuel oil pump area. You have to inspect it for any fuel oil leakage. There should not be any fuel oil leakage. And uh, you have to check whether the fuel oil, fuel oil racks are moving freely. You can see, yeah? it should be like this. It should move freely. So I will put some lube oil. And this is your joint. Put some lube oil over here. So you have to put the loop oil and check for the rack is moving freely or not. So the rack should move freely. So if I push, the rack should come back by itself. The rack movement is uh, very important for a generator to run because uh, if the rack gets stuck, your generator parameter will go abnormal. Okay, now we are uh, done with uh, checking of fuel oil racks. All fuel oil racks are in good condition. It is moving freely. Now I have to do blow through of the generator before starting. Why we need to blow through is uh, if the generator stops for a long time, then maybe condensed water forming on top of your cylinder head. So whatever the remaining uh, condensed water, little water, when you do blow through, it will come out. And uh, one more reason is 
if there is any leakage in any one of your uh, cylinder, like any cooling water leakage, and you can easily make it out, the water will spray like anything. So you can make out that particular uh, uh, unit, jacket water pouring is gone, so we have to change the o-ring. So that is the reason that we do flow through before starting the generator. So now I will do flow through. Flow through is nothing, you have to open your uh, indicator box and just give you a small air kick for the engine. I will do that, I will show you now. So I will open the indicator box. This is your indicator cock. So, this is the cover for indicator cock. Remove the cover and uh, you can do the starting. stop lever so before doing the blow through always ensure the ready to start button is on and uh, the position of your generator control should be in local so when i put this in local and after that i have to keep the start stop lever in stop position you can see here this is your stop position and this is your run position so all I need to do is this is your start button and if I press the start button you can see the deposit comes out of your indicator pump. So I do now.
always kept close to when uh, the dead is running. The reason is, uh, this is your uh, high pressure pipe. This is your high pressure pipe. In case if your uh, high pressure pipe got uh, ruptured and uh, the fuel may splash like anything. So, this is your safeguard. We are done with our uh, fuel oil uh, rack inspection, all are moving freely, indicator cup opened, we did the blow through of uh, generators, now we can start the generator. So, again for starting the generator, this is your uh, start stop lever, you have to keep to run position, from stop you keep to run position. So this is your ready to start button, I will start now. Almost same. There is no abnormal in exhaust temperature, uh, lube oil pressure, inlet fuel oil pressure, HT pressure. Everything is in normal range. So uh, now I am going to take the generator in low. So I will show you. So so actually when two when one generator is running and you want to take uh, load on the generator which we started now. We have to first uh, do the load sharing uh, between both the generators. Then only you have to do the shifting of your load. So now I am going to do the load sharing. So all I need to do is, uh, in this video I will show only uh, the ICMS how we do the uh, load sharing. In my next video I will show you how to do uh, manual, manual taking of uh, load in the switchboard. So now all we need to do is, uh, click your button and you have to close the bus bar. So once I close the bus bar, you can see the kilowatt will start increasing. That means uh, the generator starts taking load. So I close the bus bar. So now you can see, uh, you can see the load will start coming up. Now the generator start taking load and uh, both the generator will be sharing the load equally. Okay. So now you can see, eh, both the generators are almost uh, start sharing the load and uh, now both the generators are in load now. So now I am going to share the uh, shift the full load from number 1 generator to number 4 generator which we started now. So for that, 
the same way we need to do just uh, click on the generator and we need to open the bus bar okay i will open it now you can see there will be a load reduction from here and uh, this generator will take the load of this generator Okay, now you can see the circuit breaker is already opened. So there is no more load in number 1 generator and uh, this number 4 generator is taking all the load of ship's power. So now I will show you how to stop the generator. I will show you how to stop the generator. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, that's all. This is how uh, we start take the start a generator, take the generator on load, and stop the generator. I believe this video must have given you some information about uh, how to start a generator, how to take load on generator through ICMS, and uh, how to stop a generator. Uh, Thanks for watching. Thank you.